Now welcome to this quick video folks. In this video I'm just going to show you how to install Marada on one of these ESP32s. The great thing about this is it's got a modified antenna so you can screw, screw in whatever antenna you, you want to try. I'm going to show you how to install the software, do the mod for the antenna. You can install a battery on the back of this. Just put a short USB lead in to power it. What I would like to say folks is the reason to build Marada using one of these ESP CYDs is the cost. You can buy one of these ESP32 CYDs for about £8, £9. UK, that's about 10 11 dollars, I believe. And these cases are less than two pounds, and the tennis you can buy them for less than a pound. So it's a cheap way of building money, you know, one of these with them with the antenna mod, cost pennies. Please use Marada for legal reasons. Great for detecting problems with your own network. Great for doing experiments on a list of RF networks. Great for um, showing hidden networks. Also um, station scanning shows which devices are connected to routers, you know, like phones and laptops, etc. There's a lot you can do with this. I've also got a built-on SD socket there, so great for long-term RF studies. Let's show you how to do one. Oh, well, here's the parts. That's the ESP, see what I do. There's the antenna I'm using. I've got a choice of antennas. I've got three of them. That's the case. And the SMI connector, the um, antenna mod. Should put it together, folks. Uh -huh. This is the ESP32. Used a lot of these over the years. Complete unit, 240 megahertz dual core. That's the antenna we will be modding. These are great. All in one touchscreen. You can just use that antenna, so you could build this without any soldering. For the antenna mod, what we need is one of these SMA connectors. You can get these pretty cheap online. They do not cost a lot. I normally buy them in bulk, a little bit cheaper, that's all it is. Now for this um, antenna mod, for this Marada onboard antenna, just here, here's the connector. So it'll go exactly there, something like that. A very simple mod, we're going to use a scraper and scrape off the coating and expose the onboard antenna. There we go, you can see that going through now. Just expose the RFA. Just take your time. No rush. See, scraped all that off. We'll just confirm with the um, multimeter it's connected to ground, the antenna, which it is. Ground, antenna, ground. What we're going to do next now is just put a split here. So where the ground connects to the RF out, we'll split it. Just do this bit very gently. Just cut through it, take your time. Now cut your fingers. 
these is up. There we go. Okay. This is ground, and that's the RF out. We'll just confirm now they're separated. So, ground. That's your ground. RF out. Yep, I now separated. As you can see, what I'll do now is disconnect the antenna I put well the RF out to the onboard antenna. And there we go. We have now done that. So now we've got our ground here and RF out here. And that's the um, onboard antenna there, which is no no longer being used. Yeah. Just want to confirm that it's all separated. Ground, ground pin, RF. Yep. Whenever soldering, always use your flux. Use plenty. I do. Solder on here. Our side. RF out. You can pre-tin this, I do. Just makes soldering a lot easier afterwards. So just drop a bit of solder on your connector. See that? Now we're ready to solder now this connector on. It's very easy to do. Let's get it in place. Cool. I'll hold here with the solder with the ground. So what we'll do now, we'll just solder in the RF output. Plenty of solder. Soldering iron does need a clean. And you can do this ground side as well. Put loads on. Hopefully it jumps across. There you go. Simple as that folks. Going nowhere is it? Solid. See a bit of hot glue underneath. That's a cool Marada hack. It's going to get you a, a few more networks detected. Bang on in it. Right, have a close look. Solid. Should use some hot glue. Here are these um, ESP CYDs for sale with the Marada software installed. But what they haven't got is the modified antenna. So you can screw in any antenna you like. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make your own modified version, really, as cheap as possible. So it don't cost a lot of money. We'll do now we'll just strengthen the back air with a bit of glue. So we use yeah, you know, that's it. Let's put plenty on there. And I'm actually gonna do the other side as well actually. Not much. There we go. So just wait for that to dry. Oh, that glue's dried. Looks pretty neat, doesn't it? Solid now. It's going nowhere. Okay, here's the case. Transparent case. Used a lot of these in my videos on YouTube. They're good value for money, these, and they are solid. The screws and the standoffs. Now, there is a, a cover on these, which it's hard to get off, so you've just got to pick away here and peel it off. But make sure you remove the cover, they do look a lot at the edge. Horrible things to get off.
I put a bit too much hot glue on here because the case goes over but there's a slight gap here so it's not too bad but try and flatten this out as best you can folks I might just cut a bit off so just remember that don't put too much hot glue on here I'll just trim that down a bit just trim that down slightly just put your cover over easy to put on just put your big screw through hopefully it all lines up Sometimes these don't line up perfectly, you might have to drill them slightly, but this one looks all good. Just put your screw through and screw the stand off through, just like that. them up slightly, you don't need them too tight no need to damage anything that's a more tight come now folks back just goes straight over like that, back screws in there quite nice these cases No, not a lot left now folks, just go around, tighten them all gently. No need to over tighten them. There we go, our modified Marauder HSP. Use what antenna we like, how cool is that? Good thing about this mod, folks, is I can use any antenna I like. All got different performances. You can try each one out, see which one works best for you. I'll show you which one will go, but I'll go for the small one. Because that does perform pretty well. There we go, ready to put the software on there, the Marada software, all done, very cheap and very effective and works well. Let's get the software on now, got to peel this off haven't we? Lovely. Okay folks. Time to install Marada. I will give you the link for Marada and you can install it yourself. Some ASPs there, look. CS3, dual core. These are very good. I have got a lot of them. I've probably got about 70, 80 ESPs all over the place. They are just wonderful, they are cheap. And they're very good for what they are. Let's install it. Okay folks, we're ready to flash it, install the software, so we'll plug it in. There we go. Power's on. This link here. I will give you a link to this. Right. You get a blank screen pretty much. Click connect. We are on COM5, so just highlight that and connect. You'll see that. I come with that. Successfully connected. We'll select our board. Conversion. So you can see it's also detected memory size. 
manufacture and everything else, all the important stuff, the MAC address. I will leave a link for this software. No credit goes to me because I didn't design or build this, so credit goes to whoever took time and effort to do this. Now, come down, there's a lot of these different CMIDs. So mine would be the 2.8 with two USBs because it's got the micro on the C. So make sure you select without GPS actually. So it's that one. Alright, focus. Once you've selected your right board, just click program that. It's having trouble focusing on this, I don't know why. There we go. So now it's doing all the flashing that. Do not unplug at this stage, because you will brick your device. You will literally kill your device. This might take a couple of minutes, so just let this do its thing. Done. Easy as that. Anyone can do it. Oh, my now it's installed. Does it work? Oh, yes. Lovely. Easy as that, folks. We have our modified Marada. And you can screw whatever antenna you like on. Easy as that. Cool. So I will leave a link in the description to the flasher. The easy way of doing it. And a great way of powering one of these up is a small USB power bank like this. It's got Velcro on the back. Just stick some that side, stick it on. Okay, now show you how to install it and do the antenna mod. You should see how it performs. Wi Fi. Do sniffers. Scan all. Oh look at that, that's picking up a lot already and I haven't got many Wi-Fi's around here. That's going off the screen shortly. Why? Why off the screen? That just shows you external antenna makes all the difference. Look how many that's picking up, look, picking up constantly. Wow. I'd say that's performing pretty good. Build it yourself. And have fun. See you soon folks.